people really want the tactile um, interaction with the art, whether it's actually looking at a painting, whether it's actually feeling a record in your hand, looking at the artwork of it, taking it out of the sleeve, putting it on your turntable. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. I always loved vinyl and I wanted to make vinyl for the bands that I was in, but unfortunately the, the, the actual setup cost of pressing a record through a traditional pressing plant is extremely expensive. Well, I heard about a guy in New Zealand named Peter King who's the, the, the godfather of what we call lathe cuts, short run records. After several years of working with him, I decided that I wanted to try to do it, do it myself. And I started buying machines on eBay and at garage sales. It took several years before I finally found a little suitcase a home recorder from the 1940s that was working, but it didn't sound very good. So I, but I was making, making records and getting good enough results to want better results. As the platter turns, it turns the disc, which turns this little foot. As it turns, it advances this carriage, which has the cutter head attached to it. That's what allows the groove to be one continuous spiral moving into the center of the record. You can hear the audio coming off of the, the cutter head right now. It's a little horseshoe magnet that acts, that acts as a speaker and vibrates and sends those vibrations down to the tip of the cutting needle. I wanted to do more, more than just make just press a record, a traditional thing like you would find in the stores. I really like to push the format. You are going on a ride. A ride on the diamond tip. This is a Christmas ornament shaped record that I made for Julian Coster of the band Neutral Milk Hotel. This is a clear transparency picture disc that I made for uh, Viking Moses and Joey DeMarco. This was a set of silk screened records that I made for local Tucson bands that were going to France. I made them as tour merch for them to take. So we silk screened the B side with three or four layers and everyone's a little bit different. The name of my record label is People in a Position to Know. I started in about 2006 in Olympia, Washington. And it's always been just an outlet for me to release music that I really like generally from my friends. This was an LP, that, a double LP that I released for an artist named Golden Ghost, and she did a unique watercolor for every single one. Each one was very detailed and very different than the next, and I made the records out of laser discs. Here's a CD that I made that will play in your computer or your uh, CD player, but will also play on your turntable. You can fit about 20 minutes of digital music because the, the digital music reads from the inside out and about three minutes of groove music because it reads from the outside in. I would actually say this is probably the most popular one that I've done. It's um, Ariel Pink and R. Stevie Moore, and it's the record is made on an actual mirror. These are a series that I made. All of the art is actually hand set letterpress and all of these records were actually cut onto picnic plates. So I'm gonna do the lead out groove, which is what sends the your record player needle to the middle so that it knows that the record's over and it can automatically lift up. And then I bring the records over to my turntable to test them. A lot of the artists that I work with are actually very, um, very concerned about the art of their music. It's not just a product as much as it is a presentation of what they do. And so they'll make really nice packaging. They like the fact that they can do very short runs and sell them to their hardcore fans. They can use them for Kickstarters, tour merchandise. It gives people something special that is not a, a big industrial product like a vinyl record traditionally is. What you get in a hi-fi set is best described as presence, a feeling of life and nearness in the music. 
a lot of people like to actually interact with it. And it makes it more valuable because you're spending time, you're putting attention and energy into actually dealing with a physical product. Thank you.